All right, and I'm just scrying call eight. And I have my foot on the air tablet. And the angels are just bidding me relax. So once again, I'm seeing a square made up of dots and it is rolling itself into a tube. The tube, the two ends of the tube then meet each other. That tube rotates, that ring of, that ring now rotates and creates um, at first a sphere, but then the sphere, uh, the parameters change such that it becomes a torus, T-O-R-U-S. And um, this is sort of a balance between the more energetically imbalanced morning and noon scryings. And there's both this sense of Bornogo at the center, which is the Prince of the Sun, and he is sending up golden energy that acts as a protection, but also there's a great deal of additional energy on leaf 9b, which is, I believe, a Valakax. And so there is this great sense of creation, but it's also sort of being protected at the same time. I'm getting some energy from the Book of Silvered Leaves, so let me make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Okay, so there's there's a sense from the Book of Silvered Leaves that this needs to be veiled somewhat, but the energy is very raw, so you can go to the um, noon scrying for the more massive amount of energy that I was feeling um, when I was scrying that. Uh, just uh, a Valakax, Leaf 9b. And so I'm getting a very strong sense of light coming down now through my crown chakra all the way down into my subtle body system. The angels are really, it's a very much a golden light and it's very much um, making things very bright um, internally. And that's the only way I know how to describe it. And it's sort of proceeding down through my spine, all the way down through the central channel. And it's sort of emerging out. So this is very much, once again, uh, something of an energetic upgrade that the angels, just the more you do these things, what I've noticed is that they continue to work through your subtle body system and uh, as, a, as a blessing to you. And so I'm feeling this emanating out down through my um, arms first and then to some degree through my legs. Um, there is a little bit of a blockage there. It's been there for 25 years, but they're doing their best to ease through it and it's happening, so that's good. And the angels are just bidding me to relax. And they just want, the main message that they want to share here is that this is available. This is available to everybody. And, you know, just remembering that the golden light of who you are is coming from God. And so with that, you know, then everybody can then feel completely free to be who they are. And so that's easier said than done, right? we get this sense that there's something wrong with us um, from whatever message that we've internalized from other people. And really, there's nothing wrong with us. Behavior can change, obviously, in order to, you know, consider other people. But in terms of who we are, there's nothing wrong with us per se, right? It's just a matter of figuring out how to get along with others and get by. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with us at all. So... That's kind of the main message. And so just remembering that and remembering that who we are is coming from the divine, suddenly everything fuses very well, right? And so because once we recognize that everything we are comes from the divine, then we also recognize that everything that comes from everyone else is from the divine, you know, and their behavior may not be right, similar idea. Our behavior may not be right, similar idea. Or maybe we need to figure out a different way to interact, another idea. But the whole concept of the essence of somebody 
is there's nothing wrong with it. Buddhists go further and say there's nothing inherent to that, and that is correct in, in, in a way, right? There is, that is certainly correct and has a lot of value. Um, but just looking now at um, the dots, they are sort of, once again, kind of coming up, and I'm getting a sense of a whirlwind about me, and it's not as pronounced as it was during the noon hour. I'm also seeing rings stacked up, much again like the children's toy, if you turn it upside down, that you have rings that are stacked up about this cone, but rather it's upside down and the rings are coming up and they're um, surrounded by Tauruses. And uh, there's a big whirling about me and that ring made up of other Tauruses is itself turning into those uh, cones about which the rings are stacked are themselves now kind of looping around becoming a Taurus. And during the noon scrying, there was a sense of a, um, of the Taurus making a helix-like shape or a sine wave-like shape. Um, but this time, uh, the sense is just that there's a lot of nested Tauruses. So just making it simpler to describe for the audience they're saying. Um, the angels are, um, the point is, is that there's a lot of hyper complexity, basically. They want to keep it relatively simple, but there are additional dimensions to this. So as we unlock additional dimensions, it gets easier to be ourselves as it were. And so it's worthwhile, they're saying. So continue to develop, continue to grow. And that's about it. So I'm um, very grateful for this. So that's sense of vision.